for STV, we get to go to some pretty epic destinations. But with those epic destinations, they come with a lot of baggage. I mean, we could be spending days and literally thousands of kilometers behind the wheels of trucks and trailers, or airport after airport after airport just getting there traveling, and it can all get to be a bit much. For this trip, we wanted to keep things simple and go to a place relatively close to home. And we found it with Limerick Lake Lodge. We first experienced this lodge when we came here for an ATV ride in the summer months. At that time, our group enjoyed the cottage type atmosphere where we were all reminded of being at our traditional family cottages from days gone by while we were here at the lodge. The winter's no different. Limerick Lake Lodge simply has the ability to make you feel comfortable and welcome, which makes spending time here with some friends even more enjoyable. Not knowing what to expect, as soon as we got here, you could tell it was a small town feel getting in here. It was probably going to be bare bones, but it was, I was surprised in regards to what he had to offer here as soon as we got inside. With the small group that we have here, uh, you just got to step back and look at how close everybody's going to be and how well everybody's going to get along um, as this place fills up. It's, it's pretty close quarters, but that's kind of what you're looking for when you're getting out and trying out in these kind of adventures. Yeah, when I heard that you were coming back to Limerick Lake Lodge, I, I immediately said, I'm in. I want to come back. Uh, George does a great job here. You know, you wake up in the morning, he has everything prepared for you. Like you're eating breakfast, you're out the door as early as you want to be. Um, so we were out the door by like nine o'clock every day. And uh, it was easy to park your truck and trailer. It didn't seem to be, again, it was like less than two hours for us to get here. So as soon as I found out you were coming here, I was, I'm all in. Outside the lodge, this area also has a familiar feel to it. For everyone in the group, we're only about two to three hours from home, so we've all been in this area to ride before. But this meant we also knew we'd be in for some excellent late season riding. Now to keep things simple, we didn't have any itinerary we had to follow, so we were left on our own time to decide which trails we took and for how long our days were gonna be. Essentially, all we had to do was enjoy the ride. It almost seems like we're in our own backyard. Uh, it is a bit of a relief. There's less, like I said, less agenda and uh, more time to actually get out and enjoy the riding. Um, more opportunities like this are going to come up and uh, I'm probably going to have to jump on more of these rides. Yeah, it's a great launching pad. It's, that's perfectly set. Um, you can start here, you can go to Halliburton, you can make it all the way up to uh, Lake St. Peter, you can go over, you can, you can go as far as you want. You can get to Pembroke and probably back. Um, it's a great area. I mean, the trails here are second to none and shouldn't be overlooked. That's, you know, for us, it's an hour and a half, two hours in between Ottawa and Toronto. And people automatically assume you have to go north in Ontario. You don't. It's right here. It's, it's pretty far south, actually. Oh, this has been one of the best trips of the year. It's been very laid back, very casual. We've been riding, we put on a ton of miles, especially shooting for the TV show, um, which takes a lot of time. We still managed to do 150 miles yesterday and we didn't get started at the crack of dawn. So for us, I mean, for myself, it's amazing like that you can cover so much territory. You can see so many different uh, types of terrain. Like we had everything from super wide trails down to pretty like, you know, sled and a half width portages. And it, to me, it's exciting to see that and to be able to experience every different type of riding. Like we were on rail grades, bush roads, logging roads, lakes, etc. Like it's, it's an amazing place that so you have to come explore this. The trail conditions were as close to perfect as they could get. Um, zero complaints in regards to you know the 120, 140 miles that we did uh, in the last two days. If you can get good snow, which this area always gets great snow, um, it, it starts early and there's a lot of logging roads so you're not dependent on the lakes even though they do freeze up early and they are safe and they are staked. Um, just by exploring different areas close to home, you're not going through, if you don't want to go through like farm fields and concession roads, you don't have to do that here. You can, there are some farm fields, but you can go and 
explore all the different types of uh, terrain and it's really it's really cool to see because any direction you go if you go east west north or south they're all so different which makes it a fun place to uh, come to the in-between stuff is the stuff that you got to enjoy and take time to step back and relax and there was more than enough opportunity to do that the whole time we were here there is a lot of snowmobilers in this area that do travel through and it's a great place to kick back I found, especially at the Lodge, Limerick Lake Lodge. We got to play pool, there's some ping pong, you know, you can have some beverages at night. You're not going anywhere, it's all contained. So I, I really like that. We've been on the lake as cottagers since 1947, and then uh, I've owned the business here. This will be coming up on my 15th season of having the business here. Yeah. So the, a big part of the business is to service the seasonal residents, the cottagers on the lake with the marina in the summertime. Uh, you guys were here and visited me um, as uh, ATV a World a couple ago. of summers ago. Yeah. Um, so I, I thought it was a great time to uh, look at my winter business. Uh, I did have some groups of ice fishermen coming in, a few families, uh, but it was a great opportunity to fill empty weekends and yeah. especially weekdays in the winter time uh, with snowmobilers. And the lodge here is, is also nice that it, it has kind of a, to me when I, when I come in and I, I would describe the area or the lodge here as kind of like old school cottage. You know, it, it does feel like it's like a family cottage that's that's been in the family for a couple of generations. and. You know, and I think that's an advantage of to what you have because it, it just gives you that, you know, immediate sense of relaxation that you're you're in a comfortable place. And I, I kind of feel I'm picking up from you that th that's by design that you want people to have that type of feel when you come here. Yeah, it's it's we strive for that laid back. We have the the you know have a game room with uh, billiards, ping pong, yeah. uh, video game. Uh, you can come here and relax. You don't have to. No, nothing's fancy or formal. Uh, kick back, you know, watch TV, whatever you want to do, and uh, it, it is easy to, to just come here and unwind and enjoy yeah. the facility. Um, yes, it's old. It, it, most of the building was built in the 1800s, so it it's, has seen a lot of generations. Yeah. And um, as, a, as a resort lodge, it's, it's been functioning that way since the late 1940s, so it's, it's been here a long time. Our first destination was to uh, 762 Brewery. How did, why did you think that that was a good idea for us to go down there? Well, I, I knew that when you were here a few years ago, you enjoyed the tour of uh, Bancroft Brewing, so I thought it would be a nice opportunity to uh, feature another local entrepreneurial business yeah. in, in the area, and, and, and as I say, they're brand new. It's a very easy destination. Yeah. You got to take advantage of the the local personalities getting out there to, to meet these people you get a lot of information uh, the stuff that you're going to want to know to go to the places that you're going to want to see while you're here you come here for a couple days you got to take in as much as you can while you're here um, and you know down in Madoc, uh out at the brewery to, to meet with the gentleman there sample a few beverages and then out at the fire hall for for a nice feed great people uh, great establishments um, that's the stuff that keeps people coming back to these small towns. I think that this area here, there's restaurants everywhere, like in Bancroft, and we were, we were in Coe Hill the other day, which has a fabulous restaurant, The Hideaway. Um, you can go there on a weekend. They say there's over 100 sleds there parked all throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, they say that you have to make reservations. If not, you're not getting a table. Places like Limerick Lake Lodge remind us that we don't need to always work towards an epic riding destination. Sure, those bucket list type places can deliver great experiences, but sometimes the simplicity of a destination that's close to home can be as enjoyable and as memorable as those more complicated trips. There's a lot more to just jumping on the backs of these machines and, and ripping around the trails. You know, the, it's the environment that we're in and, uh, and the people that we meet makes the, the whole experience enjoyable.
Oh, I had a blast here. Three days of riding. Um, we never really touched the same trail twice. We didn't even leave the resort on the same trail. So for me, that was exciting that we got to branch out and uh, no trail was left unturned, but we didn't get, have to double back on the same trail. So exploring a new area like this on snow, it's a lot of fun. The last couple of days have been some of my best days on the snow this year. I mean, we experienced absolutely spectacular spring riding conditions. And the hospitality we got from George here at Limerick Lake Lodge and everywhere else we stopped at along the trail along the way was absolutely perfect, second to none. And I really feel as a group, we got to experience the fun of snowmobiling again, which is really the point of snowmobiling in the first place.